We're dealing with a persistent slab avalanche problem across all of Colorado mountains right now. A couple of the more nefarious characteristics of this kind of avalanche is the ability to trigger avalanches from a distance or from below, even if you're on flatter terrain. When avalanches do break, they can fail in hard to predict ways and often much wider than you'd expect. They can cross ridges, break through thick trees, and pull back on a flatter terrain, even on ridgelines. This means it's very important for you to give yourself a wide buffer when traveling around avalanche terrain. You need to consider steeper slopes above or adjacent to you, even if you are in low angle terrain. This includes seemingly benign areas like along road cuts or gentle summer trails. All these images show avalanches and shooting cracks triggered from a distance or from below. Please remember that slope angle matters. Slopes less than 30 degrees without steeper slopes above or connected to you offer safer travel options.